Now I've just opened the audio meter LabVIEW project and I will now direct you to the VI associated with bar graph decoder implemented using a 3 to 8 decoder and some additional OR gates. Let's take a look at the block diagram as well. And this is just like the logic gates version in the sense that we take the three FPGA input pins and begin to manipulate them with a circuit. In this case, I need to consider the three, bit, three bits of the input as a single three-bit bus. And in LabVIEW, we can do this with the build array node. So now we have a three-bit array coming out the other side. This enters a sub-VI that I've already created called a 3 to 8 decoder. This 8-bit result needs to ultimately be translated back into discrete Boolean signals. And we do this with the array to cluster and then unbundle cluster by name. The array of OR gates over here ultimately gives us the desired behavior at the FPGA output pins. All right, let's take a look at some of the construction details here a bit. The build array is located under the array sub palette. Once you've placed this, you can expose as many inputs as you might need. I'll come back to the 3D decoder a little bit later. The array to cluster is a conversion that's necessary to allow us to do the array, array unbundling operation. So we first placed an array to cluster. Then the cluster wire can be unbundled by name. And I'll show you how this works. Once this is connected to a, a given wire, you can then uh, again, kind of like we did with build array, you can pull uh, or reshape the node to expose as many lines as are needed. All right, I'll double click on that to take a look at the insides of the th 3 to 8 decoder. And I constructed this using a case structure. This accepts the 3 bit array style input and produces an 8-bit array type output and then each panel of the case structure or sub diagram as it's called generates the appropriate pattern so first of all I convert the boolean array to a numerical value the numerical value then picks one of eight possible sub diagrams So if I advance to the next sub diagram, we see that output number one is active only. If we are selecting the uh, remaining sub diagrams, again, the, the operation of the decoder is that only exactly one output is active at a time. Of course, there's other ways that it could be implemented, but this is a way that certainly works well. So we, here we treat the device as uh, essentially implementing the de desired decoder operation and then just treat it as a high-level combinational device. Now some uh, special considerations are required for the array input on that decoder and I'll, I'll mention those here. It has to do with the fact that by default the array in LabVIEW is a variable size and for the FPGA application it must be a fixed size. So in this case I can specify that the input to the 3D decoder is in fact exactly 3 bits. 